There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi gang, Guru Bob again. And in, in this third video on day seven of the 30 day challenge, I'm gonna show you how to take your TDC tracking link and add that to your WordPress direct blog, both in the sidebar sale offer widget and also into the article. So let's get started. I've already logged into the 30 day challenge members area here. We're gonna scroll down to, to the, on the right hand side and click on the TDC stats tracker. And we're gonna create a new link. You might recall from yesterday that we've got our Amazon affiliate link for the uh, vintage guitar price guide and we're going to set up a TDC tracking link for that uh, for that URL. So I'm going to copy that, paste that into here, and remove the HTTP at the beginning because that's that's executed. I'm going to call this um, guitar Amazon uh, vintage guitar price guide. On Amazon at URL and uh, there we go that's all nicely set up and we're going to copy our TDC link which is this URL here we're going to copy and paste that back into my little text file here which where I'm recording all my information save that and we're good to go okay now we'll head over to WordPress direct and we'll start to modify our our blog so I'm going to click on the manage post because I've already entered a post here so I'm going to click on manage posts and the first thing I'm going to do is change the 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 ad the the sidebar ad so I'm going to click on ads and banner and you can see that the um, information that I added yesterday is still there um, so I need to change the link both behind the image and also in the text here so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the image and I'm going to delete or unlink that image so that's no, no longer and I'm going to reselect it and I'm going to add a new link I'm going to take my TDC information, which I've already, it's in my clipboard. I'm just going to paste that in here, open it in a new window, and I'm going to put my main keyword back in again and insert. So I've, nest, I've now just changed the link that the image uh, points to. It's now pointing through the tracking link. And similarly, I'm going to select the text here, text at the bottom of the copy, unlink that so that the, the link goes away reselect the text and click on the link button so I can add a new link back in again paste in my link add my keyword click insert job done and I can click sale offer and we're done Okay, so having uh, added my tracking link to the, the sidebar widget, I now need to actually go and add a link to the article itself. So I'm going to click on Manage Posting, find my post that I want to add the link to, click on Edit, and up it comes. Now, it's your blog, so you get to control how many times you add the link into the article. At this stage, I don't recommend that you add the link more than twice, two times. Because if you do that more than twice, it looks a little bit spammy. And um, I don't think that's going to really help you in your search engine optimization. So we're going to, um, we're going to find our uh, main keyword within this article. And we're going to convert two of those key phrases to links so that the uh, key phrase becomes the anchor text of the link. This is a very easy thing to do. Um, I'm going to take the 
the keyword that, that I bolded yesterday and I'm going to convert that to a link. So I select the key phrase, click on the little link icon here, add in my tracking link again, open a new window, select my key phrase, click insert. So that is now a link. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right down to the bottom and take the last keyword, the last uh, instance of the key phrase, and convert that link to a link as well. Now obviously in your case your key phrase might be in different places within your, um, within your article, but just pick a couple of times uh, where, you, where you've used your key phrase. Click Insert. And there we go. Now we have two links in the article. Uh, at this point, there's a little there's a little bug which I've already notified the WordPress Direct uh, people about, and that is um, you can see that the category is 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 going back to a default category here. Now I want this article to be published under the Vintage Electric Guitar category, so I need to make sure you remember to select the right category at this stage before you click Save Post. Otherwise, it will actually end up saving this post into the Antique Guitar category. That will be fixed. Um, pretty soon that's going to be a bug fix. Click on Save Post and um, that's now done. So we can go over to our blog and you can see that our, um, our uh, article now has a couple of backlinks in it. Vintage Electric Guitar is now a link. If you look down in the in the status bar of the browser you can see that that's pointing to our TDC tracking link. Now obviously you know, we, we ultimately want people who come to this blog to click on this link and go and check this product out. But uh, by converting your key phrase as we have to a link that also has an SEO benefit or it has an on-page search engine optimization benefit because um, we're effectively telling the search engine spiders that this, you know, that this um, page has something relevant to and points to something else relevant to the key phrase vintage electric guitar. So it actually uh, serves two purposes by adding your link into your article. Okay, that, uh, that's pretty much it for adding track links to your blog. By the end of day seven we would have expected you to have set up a Google Analytics account, um, add your Google Analytics ID to your blog in the WordPress direct settings area for your blog go over to TDC 30 day challenge and um, set up a tracking link for your affiliate product um, add that tracking link into the sale offer widget of your blog and also no more than two times into you, the, ar the article on your blog and that's pretty much it now believe it or not days two to seven when you get practiced and experienced at this whole process you can complete the entire process in around about two hours. So even though it's taken us you know, five or six days to teach it, once you become comfortable with what you need to do, the whole process can be completed very quickly. So I hope that gives you confidence that um, if you have to do this exercise again or repeat this exercise, you can actually do it quite fast once you become comfortable with, um, with, the, with the whole process. That having been said, I hope you get through day seven without too many troubles and we look forward to seeing you again on day eight when we begin the, the start of the process of promoting your blog, letting the world know that your blog exists. Talk soon. There is no charge for awesomeness.